video is kind of like an end of the year review and sort of plans for my channel for 2019. So first of all, I want to start off by saying thank you. Plain and simply, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for returning and watching my videos. Thank you for all your comments on my videos. Many of you return time and time again and comment frequently and others I know just come and go and watch a few here and there when you have time because I do do long videos. Um, and you don't always comment on my videos but I may speak to you through other mediums like Facebook or Instagram. Um, I I love the community of Facebook, uh, not Facebook, I love Facebook, um, but I love the community of YouTube so much. It's what keeps me going with my channel. Um, so yeah, plain and simply, thank you. Thank each and every one of you for watching and subscribing to my channel. So 2018 has been a year of project pans. I've really, really got into my project panning this year and I've had quite a few successes and a few fails as well. My um, Seven Deadly Sins project pan was my biggest fail of the year, um, generally because I picked hard products, but because of that, I did learn a few things about what I could and could not project pan and what was interesting for people to see me project pan as well. And interesting for me to see project panning as well, because I got bored filming those videos or using those products. And so it couldn't have been much fun for you guys watching that video, uh, those videos. Um, but there's been more successes than fails. I will, um, I will say that, um, many of those project pans were with the fantastic ladies. Um, and it was great to collab with them. Pardon me. I thoroughly enjoy being a part of their community. Um, they, Jessica and Amanda, the two ladies who kind of run the Fantastic Ladies, they come up with some amazing ideas and many a time I'd be thinking I have far too many project pans going on and then they'll come up with a brand new idea and I'll go, but I'm going to do that one as well um, and just to make things fun. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few new projects lined up for the new year. Um, again with the fantastic ladies so I'm looking forward to that um, so yeah I I have had some great success with my project pans I've had some great interaction with um, my fellow subscribers um, about my project pans which has been really interesting as well um, some of you have been inspired to project pan yourselves I know teacher incognito um, I hope you're doing really well on your uh, birthday project um, that you're joining in with me on. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining in with that one. Um, and I know a few others have been inspired to um, project pan in their own little way as well. Not always on YouTube, um, but maybe just in their daily life. Um, and then I've had other subscribers who have said, oh, I could never project pan. I cry when I see the bottom of a um, makeup item. And I, I get that totally. I understand project panning isn't for everyone. Um, for me personally, I like to know I've got good use of my money. So when I see that I've used up a product, I think, yeah, I didn't waste my money there. So that's the reason why I project pan plus as well I do have an addiction to spending money and going crazy um, when I really can't afford to and really shouldn't so for me it's kind of a way to keep me in check and keep my spending in check and um, to keep myself under control because I can lose control very easily um, and that's the thing about project panning everybody does it for their own particular reasons um, my collection is by no means massive um, 
but for a girl who never used to wear makeup two years ago um, I suddenly got an awful lot of it so I went to get it back under control and hence the project panning um, so yeah seeing everybody's responses to my project pan videos has been really amazing and I really enjoy interacting and listening to everybody's ideas and opinions and um, and views on, on project pans. Um, I've, as I mentioned earlier, I've been a member of the Fantastic Ladies Collabs for quite some time now. Um, I find it a really wonderful community of ladies and I believe we have one gentleman now. Um, and we all encourage each other and help each other and inspire each other to use our makeup um, and to enjoy our makeup. Um, and there's no there's no judging or animosity when somebody does buy something new. I mean, um, obviously, they try and keep that on the down low, but um, because they are a project panning community. Um, but I still don't feel like they judge you if you do go out and buy something new, which is really, really nice because sometimes, you know... Uh, people can can be a little bit funny and um, but the ladies at um, the fantastic ladies collabs group they're not like that they're so friendly and so welcoming um, yeah I thoroughly been enjoying being a part of that community and will continue to do so I, I don't tend to join in with a lot of the chats but um, I've had a couple of conversations with a couple of the ladies in there and yeah we it's always been a pleasant experience to be a part of that community. Another community I took part in uh, throughout 2018 was the hashtag I am a creator community and that was responsible really for helping me grow my channel this year. Um, James Cox is the creator of the I, hashtag I am a creator sort of phenomenon I suppose you could call it and um, he has been running many live streams and many initiatives to try and help smaller youtubers to grow to get their channel out there to basically advertise the smaller channels and help the smaller channels to grow so they can at least reach the thousand subscriber benchmark and the viewing time benchmark so that people can get their monetize monetization back seen as YouTube took it away from us earlier this year um, for me I haven't grown phenomenally um, like some channels have I mean uh, the Bollum family for example uh, they were quite new um, to YouTube this year and they suddenly went from celebrating 100 to subscribers taking part in the hashtag I am a creator um, initiative suddenly jumped to over a thousand subscribers so they grew massively um, and congratulations to them it was a joy to see them grow so quickly and um, they deserved every single subscriber and view that they got um, I didn't grow quite so fast um, one of the things I do struggle with is self-promotion um, it, it's taken me a long time to get to the point to say, at, you know, at the end of my videos, please like, comment and subscribe. And then it took even longer to, to say, hey, how about pressing that notification bell um, to be notified when my videos are uploaded. So, um, yeah, I'm, I struggle a little with self-promotion, but I have managed to grow a little bit in 2018. And maybe in 2019, I might grow a little bit more. And maybe by the end of 2019, I might actually reach a thousand subscribers and get monetized. Um, but that's not what I'm here for anyway. I don't care about the money, in all honesty. Um, so yeah, being a part of those communities has been great for me and I intend to fully um, maintain my presence in those communities for 2019. 
So in regards to my project panning, um, that will continue into 2019. I have quite a few, and I do mean quite a few projects planned for 2019, some year long project pans and then some seasonal ones in between. Um, Try to be a bit more savvy with my product picks. So I've been really good and planned all of my project pan items for the upcoming year in advance. So I know exactly what I'll be working on and when I'll be working on them. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm well organized this year. Um, so yeah, my project pans will be um, continuing on my channel throughout 2019. They've, they've been pretty popular. Another um, video uh, type that has been pretty popular on my channel has been my Monday makeovers and good news, they will continue as well. In fact, I'm considering doing more Monday makeovers. Um, they are a little bit harder for me to film, but I think um, if I organise myself pretty well, I may be able to do Monday makeovers much more frequently. At the moment, um, they've been kind of sporadic. I started them back in May as a way to get through May um, without having to uh, film too many videos during May. I could pre-film my Monday makeovers um, in April and then I just posted them in May because May is always a difficult month for me, for my mental health. Um, so it actually, my Monday makeovers actually started out as a way for me to be able to pre-film something and post it and have regular videos going up on my channel. But they were so well received that I have sporadically kept doing them throughout the rest of 2018. And during the month of December, I have again done a Monday makeover every Monday of the month. Um, I can't guarantee that I will do a Monday makeover every Monday throughout 2019. That is just too many. However, um, I will be trying to do um, at least one Monday makeover every month. And then again, throughout May, there will probably be a Monday makeover every Monday throughout May. Um, and um, probably again, later on in the year, another month of Monday makeovers. So more Monday makeovers coming for you. How many times in one video can I say Monday makeover? There you go, one more. Um, uh, one thing that will be ending though is my monthly makeup basket. Now, the last few months I've kind of struggled with my monthly makeup basket and that's because of my lighting and my setup um, difficulties. Um, and to be honest, because I do so many project pans, um, a lot of the times I'm using project, project pan items and I'm not actually using the other stuff in my monthly makeup basket. So my videos for for that are generally made up with the phrases of that's a project pan item so I'm not going to talk about that oh this is not a project pan item and I haven't used it because I've been using my project pan items so um, I am actually going to stop filming my monthly makeup baskets um, just uh, simply so that I can focus on my project pan items and then if I want to pull something else from my collection I can, um, but I can pull anything from my collection then. And I'm not just stuck to the things that I've pulled in on a monthly makeup basket. Uh, so yeah, that, uh, that series will come to an end um, for 2019. And the other video uh, series that will be ending is my monthly manicures. Um, now, through the majority of uh, 2018, I've kind of lumped my monthly manicures in with my Manny and Lola box. However, the last two months, I've tried to separate them again, um, doing one video for my Manny and Lola and one video for my monthly Mannies. Um, 
again, I kind of feel restricted um, for my monthly manicures because I, I want to be showing you different nail polishes that I'm using every month. And so if I find a really nice nail polish, I feel like I can't go back and wear that again too soon because otherwise I'm just going to be showing you the same polish too many times. Um, now, yes, the monthly manicures has helped me throughout 2018 to rotate through my collection and I have a lot of uh, nail polish, but I'm getting to the point now where I, I want to play with some colours that I know I love and adore. But I feel like I can't because I wore them last month and so I can't wear them this month because I wore them last month. Um, so it's again I feel like I'm restricted as to what I can and cannot wear on my nails. Um, so bear with me. You going for a walk Pokemon? Okay darling. Love you. <laughs> so yeah. Sadly, money, monthly manicures will be finishing as well. However, the Manny and Lola subscription box will be continuing because there is no damn way I am stopping that. I still love my Manny and Lola box. So we will still get that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> you see what I wear on my nails throughout most of my videos anyway. I can just mention during the video if you are if you are particularly interested in what I'm wearing on my nails and you've noticed a particular manicure on my nails during a video that you like just ask me for the details or I will start putting it in the description box for you so you'll know um, but yeah I can do that if you want so yeah so um, that is my end of year review and my plans for 2019. I hope you will stick with me and um, continue into 2019 with me. I hope I haven't bored you enough to make you unsubscribe. Um, so thank you very much for being a part of my channel. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, yeah, thank you. Just thank you. Okay, I'm going to go now and stop waffling. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.